Hey guys, Kyrgios here. Today I'm going to tell you my top mistakes that you're going to make day one, maybe even day two, and it depends on how much you're going to play. If you're going to play for like maybe an hour a day, maybe some of these aren't going to affect you, but if you're going to go ham the first day and try to get as far as you can with the most play time you can, with the most experience you can, then some of these mistakes are really going to happen. So if you guys can't hit that like and subscribe, let's go ahead and through it. Oh, and quickly before we get started, almost every single one of these mistakes has to do with one another. So I'm going to daisy chain them, but you're probably going to need them to know them all for them to make a little bit of sense. So let's go. All right, let's go ahead and kick it off with the first mistake or tip or however you want to interpret this. And it's going to have to do with your gems, your jade gems and your summoning. Now you're going to be very tempted to use your jade gems, especially to summon on Zayla or any of the limited banners or even on the beginner banner, but you shouldn't be doing that unless you're doing it in, in quantities of 10. So you don't have to do 50 pulls. You only have to do 40 pulls, but you want to make sure that you're only using the tickets they give you from pre-registration or from hitting TL5 or TL15. At TL5, you get an extra 10 uh, regular tickets. And then at TL15, you get another 10 regular tickets. So that gives you, uh, with the pre-registration rewards, you'll be able to get up to the 40 you need to pity that beginner banner. Don't use your jade gems because you may need them for another reason before you do a limited banner. So don't use them right away until we get to some of these other mistakes. Another mistake that you're going to make day one is honestly when you get to your daily. So once you're about 50 minutes to 60 minutes into the game, you're going to finally get your dailies that you can do. You can find your dailies in the top right hand corner and then you'll see that there's usually about five to six of them. You only have to do four or five of them depending on how many points you get but do not sleep on this day one. You get jade gems from this. You get EXP materials from this. You get other random materials from this. And the best part is you get trail blaze power. And that's really going to matter. Well, it's going to matter every single day, but it's going to matter day one. If you're trying to blaze it as far as you possibly can, because a little bit of a spoiler is that if you're going through the story, they eventually hard cap you or stonewall you that you need a certain trailblazer level in order to continue the story. Sometimes at level uh, 12, sometimes at level 18, sometimes before then. And we probably have some screenshots on screen of them stopping that. And if you really want to go further, this is where you're going to have to make sure you do your dailies. All right, there's another way that we can increase trailblaze level. But that brings us to another mistake, which is your XP bucks. Now on the first ship, you're only going to get so many. And this usually comes from your ventures log from completing certain missions and they give you X amount and you do not want to waste this. You cannot stretch yourself too thin. If you start dabbling this into a bunch of different characters, say you do a 10 pull on that beginner banner, maybe you get a four star here, but it's not the four star you really want to use. And it's, it's, and you put a little bit here and there, it's really not going to help you out. So my biggest tip is that you just want to really level up uh, Dan Hung, Dan Hung, and uh, the main character. DPS is going to be king here. Bring a healer or shielder with you. There's a little bit of support, but if you could do more damage, you're going to get through it faster. You can get through the first area faster to the point that you get to the first callus. Calluses? Calluses? I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is when you can start using your energy. And the first callus you get is the EXP farming material. So go ahead and dump all that energy right there. Just dump all of it. You're going to need it. You won't need the other materials. And we'll talk about that in a second. EXP is going to be king. Level is going to be king for your first couple days. So let's sync back the previous mistake to the current mistake. So we talked about Jade Gems and how you want to save those and not use them for the limited banner right away. If you're playing very heavily the first day or two and you hit that trailblazer limit where you can only get so far in the story because you have not hit that trailblazer level there's only a couple ways to increase that which one of those were the dailies we talked about the other way is using energy to actually do those calyxes well there's a great way to do that you can refresh your energy maybe once twice three times depending on how much you want to burn to actually get more energy to do those calyxes which will give you that trailblazer level to get over those humps so if you plan on playing this game very heavily the first couple days to get as far as you can you may have to do some stamina refreshes in order to get there. So this is very important. But if you're playing casually, maybe an hour here, an hour there, and you're just doing your dailies, don't worry about it. Save those gems. You can use it for the limited. Once you get to a certain point, just don't do it right away. All right, the next mistake is actually not backtracking properly. 
Now, this is going to see, seem a little counterintuitive, and this is going to be a bunch of mistakes in one, so hear me through on this one. But as you make it out of the first area and you are able to summon all that goodness, you make it onto the ship. I'm not going to do spoilers. You make it to the next planet, whatnot. What you're going to want to do the first day, honestly, is backtrack to the previous location, the starter location. Because what's going to happen is that there's going to open a bunch of side quests, and you can see that there's many different styles of side quests on your screen here. Gold being your main story, which you can continue. Uh, purple being background, which is mainly from the phone. If you open up your phone, sometimes you get side quests. Sometimes you get character development side quests. I wouldn't really focus on the purple ones, but you will get these blue ones. The green ones are your dailies, but the blue adventure missions are extremely important. And the reason I say to go back to the first area is that they took you through a very curated path. And there was probably locations that you saw that you couldn't get to. A lot of those locations are actually going to open when you go back and do those side quests. So you'll be able to find a bunch of different chests, which may have materials, XP materials, and uh, some leveling materials in them. And then you will also be able to get EXP from these. And the best part is you're actually going to get coins for the regional shop. And the regional shop is super, super important. There's a lot of key things that could be in some of these shops, and there's one on every single world. They're going to give you maybe your first starting equipment, whether it be blue equipment or sometimes purple equipment. Now, they are randomized stats, but getting a four piece is really important to be able to progress the game and putting it on your main character or another character. Doesn't even matter. It doesn't even really matter what those stats are. Secondly, there's going to be a ton of XP materials and a ton of light cone leveling materials as well in those regional shops. So I would definitely buy those out. And that finally brings me to the biggest mistake that you might possibly make. Now you can do at every 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, you could do these trials of equilibrium is what they like to call it. So eventually you'll have this cap where you can only go to level 20 or you can only go to level 30. If you're familiar with the Genshin system where you increase your world level, this is effectively the way that you increase your world level. But if you are able to take some of the advice I just said, and you're able to get the level 20 on a lot of your characters, and you're able to progress really far, unless the game is telling you you need to do an equal uh, Librium level up in order to do maybe Trailblazer power or some of that, if you do not have the materials readily available, and you go from 20 to 30, and you cannot level up your four characters immediately to 30, and probably have some light cones broken, leveled up at that point, and some gear, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. Can you do it? Yes. It's just going to make the enemies a lot harder, and you're going to have to strategize a lot more. So what you could do is you could hold your world level at 20 until you get to a point that you're very comfortable, and then you can expand it without completely ruining your story experience. Well, that's all I really got for some of my day one top mistakes, which kind of bled into day two, day three, day four mistakes. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Hit me up in the comments down below if you have any questions and I'll do some more videos. We'll do some more deep dives, some character reviews, and I'll see you guys out there on the live streams. Take it easy and fist bump from me to you.